What FICO algorithm do mortgage lenders use when trying to qualify you for a mortgage? That's what we're going to talk about right now. it is Ryan. Today I want to talk real quickly about the different algorithms that mortgage lenders use when qualifying you to get a mortgage basically. When you're looking at qualifying for a mortgage many people will say well I checked on credit card or my credit card said this and the scores are different from when a lender pulls and people don't know why. And here's the simple answer. There are 28 different FICO algorithms that calculate different scores based on a mortgage, a car loan, a personal loan, a credit card, etc. In this case here, for a mortgage, you wanna look at this. Experian, when you pull a tri-merge mortgage report, what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull all three scores. Experian is gonna pull a FICO 2. TransUnion is gonna pull a FICO 4. And Equifax is going to pull a FICO 5. I like the facts in five, it makes it easier for me to remember. What you wanna realize, guys, is this. Most people, when they're looking at credit cards, they're looking at a FICO 8. What is the difference? A FICO 8, if you look at time, we've covered this before, this is now, this is seven years ago. A FICO 8 score is gonna look at your last two years and the activity in the last two years is going to be what most of the score is comprised of. When you're looking at a credit card, you're looking at a small auto loan and things like that nature, there's smaller loan amounts. So a FICO 8 score, looking at your most recent habits is perfectly fine. When you're looking at a mortgage, they want to look back and see all this history from the very beginning of seven years ago and saying, in the last seven years, have you been behaving? Have you been responsible? That's why it's more important. These older scoring models, yes, currently most are using FICO 8, maybe FICO 9 now. In a mortgage scenario, it's 2, 4, and 5, so they can really look at the history. Again, this is why it's called credit history. They want to look at the history to see how responsible have you been as always, how much credit have you been using and how well have you been using it? And that will determine whether or not to approve you. Now, here's the other most important thing. Let's just say, for example, in this scenario, let's just say Experian says your score is a 680, okay? Let's say TransUnion says your score is a 670. And let's just say here that Equifax says your score is a 710. It may be this way. You have no idea until you actually dive in and look. The score that the lenders are going to use for your actual mortgage, the score that's going to determine all the different factors of your mortgage, it's going to be the middle score. So when you look at these three numbers, this number right here, it's going to be the 680. 680, 670, and 710. 710 is the highest, this is the lowest, this is the middle score. They do not add them up and then average them. It's whatever the actual number is, this right here is the score they use in your loan scenario. And this is going to be what determines all the different factors of your mortgage, okay? What your rate's going to be, um, how much down payment may have be. There's all these different components that go into it. They're gonna base it off the middle score. So please keep that in mind. That is why it is so important, especially now, because credit scores are really influencing the rate. The higher the score, the more favorable the loan conditions, okay? So make sure you're always paying attention to your credit. If you have anything that may show up, even if you have alerts that say, hey, you missed your payment, it was due yesterday. Being due yesterday and paying interest is better than it being 30 days late, paying interest, paying a late fee, and having your credit score tank 100 points, okay? That's why it's so important to follow that. But what FICO algorithm or score do they use? Mortgage lenders are gonna use two, four, and five based on your scenario, and that is what they're gonna look at when determining your loan factors, all right? Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, Put them down below or send us a message because some people get really confused by this. Give us a call. It's easier for us to have a quick conversation with you, and that way we can better advise you as to what you need to do next. All right? Hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll catch you later.